Yeah, that's right. After pretty much a year, Manny MUA finally opened up about his experience being canceled. And as someone who's been canceled myself, I thought this would be the perfect time to break that video down and discuss it. What is up everybody? This is Chris from The Rewired Soul, where we talk about the problem, but focus on the solution. And if you're new to my channel, what I try to do is take different topics going on in the YouTube community and try to see what lessons we can pull from them to improve our own mental and emotional well-being. So if you're into that stuff, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell. So two quick things. I am releasing this video today, September 1st. So if you catch it in time, my brand new book, Cancelled Inside YouTube Cancel Culture, you can get the ebook for free until the end of day today. I've been doing it all month long and we have over 1,200 downloads already. Pew, crazy. So get yourself a copy. There's also an audio book. If you want to buy that, it's only 10 bucks. But anyways, um, after today, the ebook, um, the PDF version is only three bucks. Uh, the other one is $5. But anyways, like if you want to learn more about cancel culture and why it's so toxic and what it's like to go through it, it's one of the many reasons I wrote this book. So make sure you check out the description, check out the pinned comment down below. Second thing is, I wrote down so many notes from Manny's video and I had the biggest smile on my face the whole time. So make sure you're subscribed because this is gonna be a two-parter, okay? Um, in this video, I'm going to be talking about what Manny was discussing when it comes to cancel culture and kind of break that down. But the next video I make, I want to help teach all of you what we can learn from what he's been through, all right? So this video, we're gonna be talking about cancel culture, but you guys, like, man, I'm, I'm, I'll give you a little spoiler ahead of time. Like, if Manny or anybody else can get through this, like, you can get through some stuff that you're going through. And that's what we're gonna be talking about in part two of the next video. So anyways, yeah, it's been about a year since Dramageddon 1, and oh my God, like, Hoo, 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 hoo. Like cancel culture. I did a video the other day, the witch hunt of pro Jared, and there's this formula to witch hunts. And one of them that really stands out to me, one of the, the factors in these witch hunts is how it started typically by something trivial or there's lies that circulate and it could be both. Like, like what happened to Manny, it was like, oh my God, he got exposed as being a bad friend or, do, or treating some friends poorly, right? And all of this happened, which is absolutely insane. And yeah, it affected him in a bunch of different ways psychologically, and I'm so glad that he opened up about this. I remember a week, two weeks ago, uh, Keemstar actually tweeted out that he wanted to interview James Charles about what James Charles went through this year, you know, when everything happened with Tati Westbrook and Jeffree Star and everything, and James Charles was like, you know what, I just want to move forward. I just want to move forward and get past this, right? And I'm like, dang, dude. Like, when people get canceled, like, we don't want to talk about it. We just want to have everybody forget about it and just move forward. But like, here's the thing, like, so those of you who don't know me, I've been clean and sober for seven years, and like, I didn't want to talk about it. I didn't want to share my story. But the thing is, how am I supposed to help anybody who's about to go through this if I don't share my story, right? So I'm so glad that Manny has such a big platform and he finally got to a place where he was willing to open up about this. And even though it kind of bummed me out when James Charles said he wasn't, he didn't want to do that interview with Keemstar, like hopefully this has inspired James. So like maybe even a year from now, James is willing to open up about his experience, right? Because cancel culture is terrible. And I'm going to discuss this a little bit later in the video, but like, listen, it's okay to disagree with people. It's okay to not like people. That's fine. But like joining in on the hate mob, like that is not, that is just, it's so toxic. It's so toxic and so terrible. So one of the things that Manny talks about is this, I'll show you a little clip. And it was truly the most terrible thing I've probably ever been through in my life, emotionally and mentally, it is probably the worst thing I've ever gone through in my entire life. And you guys, cancel culture basically says, oh, you fucked up, you're canceled, you, you'll never be brought back from life because you're literally dead in the water. Hmm. 
So there's a many things wrong with that because, you know, what about for forgiveness? Cancel culture does not allow for growth and forgiveness and learning and allowing people to be people. Yes, yes, like, oh my God, like, like, it's so nice, as somebody who's been canceled, like, it's so nice to hear somebody else discuss this. Like, one of the reasons we share our stories with one another, whether it's, you know, your your history of trauma or addiction or mental health or whatever, is so we don't feel alone, right? And what Manny's talking about is, cancel culture doesn't give people the opportunity to grow. And, and we're also not promoting forgiveness. Like, do you know how crazy that is? Like, something I'm trying to teach people, right? Even my own son is, like, would you wanna be forgiven? Would you expect people to forgive you for this, right? Like these things aren't aren't black and white. Like we're treating, we're treating people who get canceled for for these silly, trivial things, like like they're a murderer or something. Like what? Like what? He was a bad friend. Like chill the hell out, all right? And it's absolutely bananas. And here's the thing. Like I, I discuss this in the book a little bit. Uh, I think um, in the conclusion chapter, like. As somebody who is an advocate for, you know, mental health and addiction, like our prison system sucks, right? Like we punish people. And it's not even just people who go, who get locked up for, you know, substance abuse and things like that. But look at our prison system, right? Like when people get out of prison, it is so hard for them to get on their feet, get a job and repair their life. You know what that's teaching them? Like why even bother? Why even try to improve yourself because society is not gonna forgive you? And when I see cancel culture, like just crash down on somebody, it, I'm just like, do, do you not want this person to grow to become a better person? You know what I mean? And I'm so proud of Manny for going out and seeking therapy and doing stuff, you know, getting involved with, you know, doing more with his family and, uh, you know, getting back into the gym and all that kind of stuff. But you guys, like we have to have a society where we're willing to forgive people, all right? Like, one of the worst things that we could do, one of the worst cognitive distortions that we can have is black and white thinking, thinking people are either all good or all bad. No, 99.9% .9 of all of us human beings, we sit in the gray area. We're good people who do some bad or stupid things sometimes. You know what I mean? And it hurts and it sucks and it's bullying. Imagine someone who is not at the same spot of me. Okay, I'm 28 years old. Imagine canceling someone who's 15 for something that they did. Imagine sending them so much hate that they decide to hurt themselves for it in a very, very negative way. You guys, the suicide rates for LGBT youth are astronomical. And it's so sad. Imagine, I can't even imagine someone getting even a percentage of the hate that I got and where they would have to be mentally to be able to go through that. So right there, he says, one of the reasons he's sharing about this is he imagined somebody else going through this. And let me tell you this, this is probably the biggest reason that I wrote this book. Like so many of you guys watching this, like, you know, I know the majority of people aren't going to go through um, what Manny MUA went through, uh, or even I went through at a you know lesser level because I'm not as big of a YouTuber. But you guys, like this is stuff that's happening at schools, right? Like when I was a kid, like we didn't have social media. Like if people were lucky, they had those crappy Nokia cell phones with like snake on them and stuff. But now you can get canceled at your school. You can get canceled at your college and stuff, right? Like cancel culture isn't something that just happens to YouTubers and celebrities. It's happening to people. Like I talked about this in one of my last videos, but I just finished a book called So, uh, so You've Been Publicly Shamed by uh, John Ronson. And most of that book is, is just normal, everyday people where cancel culture came after them and publicly shamed them, you know what I mean? So one of the reasons why I finally decided to build up the courage and just like write this book and share my experience is to help others. And oh my God, and like, I hope, I, this might have to be a three-parter because if I see people harping on Manny for this video, hoo, 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 we're gonna talk about it. But anyways, like when I released my, my book, you know how many people, you know how many people are like, oh my God, look, Chris is trying to play the victim. Chris is trying to do that. And like, I knew it. I knew the second I sat down to write that book, I knew that was coming, right? But the thing is, 
I have found meaning and purpose in life to take my experience and help others. Like that's just what I do, right? So I will take all the backlash, all of that from sharing my experience and people saying, oh, he's trying to play the victim or he, oh, he's not telling the truth or blah, 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 whatever it is. If I can help somebody else, and like I said, over 1200 people have downloaded the book, the free version so far, like, pff, cool. I hope I've been able to help somebody. And I know for a fact, Manny is helping people by sharing his story too. And yeah, like you said, like, we have to talk about this. Um, whenever I, I hear about people get canceled, getting canceled, and I just heard about this with a game, game developer, but um, look at what happened to Etika too, earlier this summer, you know what I mean? Like, there were a million different contributing factors, but one of them was just the internet hate mob, just constantly on him, egging him on, and everything like that, and it's like, we need to talk about this stuff. We have to have conversations about this. You know what I mean? Like nothing's going to get better. Nothing is going to get, uh, like nothing's going to change unless we have conversations about this. And listen, check it out. I know I do commentary here and I know there's other channels that do commentary or they do drama or they do news, right? Like you, the audience, like if I could just teach you one thing, like just one thing, all right? it's. Just because you disagree with somebody's opinion doesn't mean that they shouldn't have the right to discuss their opinions, all right? Like, we're humans. We're going to have different opinions. I don't like seafood. If I'm like, hell, some of you know, I'm vegetarian. We have different tastes in foods. That doesn't mean that I'm a bad person. It doesn't mean that you're a bad person. So, like, broaden that scope. What's your favorite color, all right? Mine? Sometimes blue or black or gray. I like a bunch of different colors, but if those aren't your favorite colors, who cares? We all have different views, opinions, and preferences and things like that. It doesn't mean that you need to cancel somebody just because you disagree with the way that they live or the, the way that they see the world or the views or the opinions they have, all right? Because I'll be honest with you, 90% of opinions are not hurting anybody. I know we like to think in this current political climate that words are harming people, but it's just if you cannot handle a differing opinion than yours, like that's a you problem, all right? Like we need to take accountability. Like I used to have a very screwed up mental filter where I got offended by everything. And then I realized I'm like, oh wait, they're not the problem, I'm the problem. Like I have to just ask myself like, why does it matter if these other people have different views or opinions than I do? We all have our own different life experiences that make us the way we are. And I fully realize that. And I wanna say thank you to everyone who allows me to continue to do what I love and to continue to do what I do. And for you guys to be there for me, to let me make mistakes, to understand that I'm going to make them and that I'm doing the best that I can to be a positive role model for you and for myself and for my family and for my friends and to continue to grow as a human being. You know, as you fall down, you gotta get back up. That's just how it works. So right there, like Manny talks about how he's still going to mess up, but he also talked about right before that about standing up for himself. Like check it out, like both those things. And I hope everybody learns from that too. Like when you get canceled, you get so afraid, right? Like Manny talks about in his video, like, you know, some people have commented that he's not the same, he's not as catty and things like that. And he's like, he was just playing it up. May, that might be it. That, that could be it. For me personally, like, some of it, like some of it was played up, but a lot of it was just who I am. And for months after I got canceled, I was so afraid to be me, to be who I am and vocalize my opinions because I was so worried about how people were going to take it or twist it and do whatever whatever they wanted to with it. You know what I mean? And like Manny says, like standing up for yourself, like if you believe in things, like stand up for them. All right, like people are gonna disagree with you and that's cool, all right? There are going to be people who do agree with you and they will be on your side. But like he said, he's still gonna mess up. Like, hi, 
I'm Chris, I'm not perfect either. I'm going to screw up, right? And I don't think Manny ever said in his entire life that he's perfect and he is the person that you should hold up on a pedestal, right? It's something weird that we do with these parasocial relationships where we're like, oh, that person's successful so they must be a perfect human being. Like, no, like Manny does makeup. I make YouTube videos and try to teach you about what I've learned about life and mental health and addiction and all these other things. Like, we are not, you know, the next coming of Jesus. We're all going to screw up. But again, it goes back to forgiveness. Like, I feel what people have an issue doing is looking at the situation by swapping shoes and just saying, would I wanna be forgiven for this? You know what I mean? And speaking of messing up, Manny also talks about how recently he had a little drama in the last week where he didn't give credit to um, another uh, 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 makeup artist for a certain look. And it was kind of like he saw the second person who did it, so he didn't know who the original came from. And he publicly just said, you know, he said sorry and he gave her credit and everything like that. And he goes on a, uh, a thing about like helping out um, small creators and lifting them up. And like, listen, like, I just recently started following Manny probably within the last week or so. So right when I started following, I saw this happening. I'm like, what is, what is going on? And I'm like, geez, like, like he screwed up. It's a oops, oops, oopsie, mistake, right? <laughs> you know? And the most we can do as human beings, the most we can do is when we're wrong, we admit to it and we try to improve ourselves. That's all we can do. And listen, listen, baby. That's all we can expect from anybody else too. When somebody screws up, all we can hope for is that they learn from it and try to improve and try to grow from it. All right, so the last thing I wanna say before I let you go and do part two is like, I, I don't know if Manny will ever watch this video, but I want to apologize to Manny because when I was covering you know, lessons that we can learn from Dramageddon and everything like that. Like, I was harsh, I was brutal, and that's the thing. So many of us from the outside looking in were like, here's what I would do. Here's what they should have done. Here's how they should apologize. Here's how they should make videos. Here's how they should act on social media and all that stuff. And that is so, like, I was so dense and ignorant, right? Like, when I went through it, like, nothing you do <laughs> is right. I think some of the more recent people who have gone through this, they've learned from people like us who went through it and screwed up massively. Like I talk about in my book, like I did everything wrong and I empathize with so many people now. So like, yeah, you know, when we make videos, like I was dumb enough to make videos like breaking down Manny's apology. And you see people doing this anytime an apology comes out, like, geez, it's so crazy. And I feel like such a chump. You know, when you look back at your younger self, even though for me, it was just like, a year ago, like you look back at your younger self and you're like, what was I thinking? God, I was a brutal human being. But anyways, um, I'm gonna link Manny's video down below. If you're new to my channel and you have no idea what I'm talking about, go check out Manny's video. <laughs> but anyways, don't forget, you have until the end of day today, uh, midnight, Pacific time, all right, to grab yourself a free copy of my brand new book, Canceled Inside YouTube Cancel Culture, the ebook. And yeah, that's linked down in the description, down in the pinned comment below. All right, but anyways, that's all I got for this video. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell because I'm making a part two, baby, and maybe a part three if people start talking smack. All right, but a huge thank you to everybody supporting the channel over on Patreon. You are all amazing. And a huge thank you to everybody who supports the channel in other ways, buying merch, my books, all that kind of stuff. All right. Thanks again for watching. I'll see you next time.